All right, hello again. My name is Aaron Clifford, also known as Eguant. Uh, I'm here today at Red the Agency, and I'm uh, going through uh, a couple of uh, really cool uh, technologies. I uh, already went through a uh, quick look at Tinkercad, and uh, now I'm on to uh, sort of another 3D modeling uh, uh, package. But this one is a little bit different because this one isn't really designed to create 3D models so much as it's designed to be a collaborative game making experience. It's uh, really, really quite cool. Uh, this one I saw originally on, I uh, can't remember if it was Kickstarter or Indiegogo, I think it may have been Kickstarter. But either way, uh, what a great, great crowdfunded project. I'm gonna switch over here so that you can have a look. So basically what I've got up here is the Craft Studio Launcher. Uh, the first thing you'll notice about it, it's very, uh, a very sort of um, retro -y design, very nice. Uh, I've already uh, created an account, uh, so I'm gonna log in. Hopefully there's no updates. There we go. So what I've got up here, and I'll just slide it out of the way so that you can see the whole thing. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch. Let's go full screen and get rid of my head. There we go. Good. So what you can see here is uh, this is the Craft Studio main interfla interface. There's a lot going on, uh, but basically you can see up at the top left here, there's a home, there's a shop, and there's a, a community button. Really, uh, mostly, I'm, I'm just delving into the very, very surface of it here. Uh, just below those three buttons, I've got uh, my my project section. There's the community hub, which I can connect to. And uh, that actually gets you into uh, just a great big open space that's public for Craft Studio, where anyone can go and build anything. Uh, it's loading up a little slow here because I'm streaming at the moment, but uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to get in and see a couple models here. Now the thing that you'll notice once we get into this is that it's really, really Minecraft inspired, which really is not a bad thing in my books. You can see here, now that it's loaded up, we've got some of the featured models. Uh, and across the top here you can see models, uh, there's maps scenes, scripts, and documents. And you can go in and edit any one of these. Uh, I'll load up Optimus Prime here. And if I double click on him, I should get a much uh, better view of it. There we go. So you can see I'm just rotating around. So this is actually uh, something that has been created by the community and uh, in here you can see, uh, let me just, whoop, got my. So the cool thing about this is that then you look in and you can see down here, you've got his texture. Uh, you can see the texture size te set to 256 by 256. Uh, we can go into the paint and you can actually paint on this. Now, since this is live and this is someone else's model, I'm going to respect that and I'm not actually gonna make any live changes. Uh, and then you can go into the animate and you can actually hit play and watch and see what they've animated. Uh, the, in the community hub, there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of great things like this that the people have made. And although it's very, very simple, it's very, very easy as well to create things like this. And it's meant to be very blocky and very stylized. So I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna close off Optimus. You can also see there's a uh, uh, tiger here. And you can just move around using WASD and uh, looking around with the uh, uh, mouse. So it's very much like a first person sort of control. And uh, that's actually really cool. I like that. I like that tiger. Well, if I can get to him here. There we go. Let's get. Yeah. And again, all very, very simply done. I'm going to take it out of uh, fly mode here. If I can. Good. And uh, you can see here, hopefully they've animated it. Whoa, there is some strange stuff going on in the animation. So I'm going to go ahead and say that they haven't really done much there. <laughs> 
Now the other thing you can see in here is uh, we can go into the uh, the maps and you can double click and see anyone else's map and walk around it. This one obviously is just a bunch of uh, blocks that they've put out in space. And again, the mapping works very much on the same principle. You can see down uh, just to the left of the map here, you can see the texture for the map, and uh, you can switch to different cubes, uh, and you can see on this texture, uh, let me zoom in on it here. So you can see if I were to go in here and paint on that, you can choose a color and I'll just add a little tiny red dot or two. So you can see how that live updates in the uh, main area there. And again, this is collaborative. This Someone else could be painting on this at the same time as me. So you can both go in, you could have your coder in there working on the uh, scripts while your 3D modeler and your 3D painter both work on the things, all collaborative and you can see it happen basically on the fly. Uh, I'm gonna switch back here, turn it to white. Oop, I'll get rid of, whoa, there we go, get rid of uh, the changes I just made and I'll close out of that. Uh, it's also very simple, you can see you've got your revisions here, it's very simple to create new revisions. Uh, again, the, I, I am so impressed with how uh, both Tinkercad and uh, Craft Studio have uh, worked in their revisions uh, because honestly it's, um, for me, one of the greatest things is being able to go back and change things uh, and uh, branch off from an earlier version. So you can see here, someone's created a, a nice little meat boy and, uh, and they've even animated him to do a little run animation, which is pretty fun. And uh, Craft Studio can be used to either build uh, games or you can on the fly, you can build uh, little movies. You can create a 3D movie uh, using this. Here's a werewolf. Very cool stuff. So you can see it also allows you to, if you don't want to just go into the community hub, I can go in and down here there's a local server button. And you can see I've set up a local server here. I'll just minimize that. And now I can connect to my own server and you can see I've all I've started in here is one little tank, which I haven't really done anything on, but uh, You can see I started painting a texture here. And one of the cool things that you can do is you can uh, you can see here I've created, uh, there's actually only part of the model showing. Uh, if I go into paint mode, Uh, you can actually erase portions of this and those will become transparent. So if I create a, a bigger uh, block here, and the tools are all really, really simple to use. It's uh, really impressive how they've uh, set it up. I'm still finding that there's a little, a, a couple of inconsistencies here and there in uh, movement and, and how it's scripted, but really it's uh, a very intuitive. Uh, and then I can create, uh, let's make a little green blob in there. So you can see there, I've actually just gone and created a new. Yeah. And if I want to create the whole object and wrap the whole object, you can see here, and zoom out a little bit and uh, choose how the faces are being rendered. Yeah, so just a very simple way of creating. If I want to go back into building, all you want to do is, uh, you can see that this here is the uh, the base that I've created. I can add another object. And I've actually created this object as a subset of the original, which means that they'll move together in the animation mode and they'll both use the same texture. So you can see there, I've actually, um, and then you can go in and you can adjust on the paint 
menu how you want that texture to appear and where you want it to appear so I can actually go in and paint on it like this. Go back and create some more purple. It's looking pretty hideous. All right, I see we've uh, got uh, Elisim in the chat room. We've got a couple other guests, hello. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's just a very simple tool for creating uh, much more complex things. Uh, you, if we go back into the community hub here, you can see that uh, there, someone's actually created something called Vegetables RPG, uh, an entire project there. Looks like this is uh, yeah this is actually a cool little project I'm seeing some uh, uh, looks like a little uh, apple or uh, what's the reason? oh it's a cherry sorry it's in French um, so yeah someone's actually created a little uh, vegetable and fruits RPG oh that is a nice pineapple so yeah, so that's basically it. Um, oh, and uh, Elisim is saying I can uh, uh, join the Craft Studio Cart project if I want to show a full game. Um, oh, uh, Elisim, your uh, IP that you sent through is censored. Uh, but you know what? Maybe I'm just going to quickly switch over to Chrome here and I'll look it up. Thanks for that, I'm just, uh... There we go, we're just on the Craft Studio site here. And... Elisim, is that in the, uh... Is that in the wiki? Oh, <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah, I'm just adding it right now, thanks. Aha, there we go. So you can see here, uh, thanks to Alasim who's uh, given me a uh, a link to join uh, Craft Studio Cart. I also see Project Waffle on here, which is uh, uh, one of the projects that was uh, mentioned during the initial. Uh... Hey, Cubertoy, how's it going? Yeah, I, yeah I, I definitely think this is a very cool. You can see here we've got uh, um, Welcome, this is an awesome cart game. Uh, and you can see here we go in, uh, there's the uh, Craft Studio Cart logo, which is uh, absolutely wonderful. I, and, uh, okay. And here's some of the carts. Oh, that is a really nice one. I like that one. Now, I've never actually gotten to the point where I have something completed, Elysium, so I'm wondering how I actually go through and uh, uh, launch this project. Oh, I see. Well, maybe not. Yep, I do have a premium account, so I just found the export button there. 
Uh, and let's see what it looks like. Hey, nice. Oh, and the Craft Studio runtime has stopped working. Probably because I'm streaming and all that other fun stuff. Okay. But uh, yeah, that is super cool. Um, not the crashing, but again, I'm running a lot of things all at once here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, live demo. Whoops. So anyway, um, yeah, that's. Uh, I just wanted to give a basic overview of Craft Studio. It's something I'm super excited about. And uh, Elisim, thanks for joining us. But it's uh, it's a really, really impressive thing. And uh, <laughs> you don't have to apologize because, uh, yeah, it's this is an amazing product. And I think that it's something that uh, is the next logical evolution from uh, from Minecraft. And uh, it's just. I don't know. It's, it's something that uh, I would love to, you know, I think that anyone can get involved in. Uh, my son's only three, but I'll tell you, uh, I would love that he would be able to use this uh, or something like this in the next couple of years. And uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for joining me. And uh, I think I'm going to take off because I probably should end my lunch break at some point here.